morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is of Frederick Fryer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who were pleased to shine forth with new light through the coming of your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that just as he was pleased to share our bodily form through the childbearing of the Virgin Mary, so we too may one day merit to become companions of his kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another since love comes from God and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only son, so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us, when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. All All nations nations shall shall fall fall prostrate prostrate before before you, O Lord. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. All All nations nations shall shall fall prostrate prostrate before you, O Lord. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy. All All nations nations shall shall fall fall prostrate prostrate before before you, O Lord. Lord. In his day justice will flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. All All nations nations shall shall fall prostrate prostrate before you, O Lord. Let us stand for the Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. 
and he set himself to teach them at some length. By now it was getting very late, and his disciples came up to him and said, this is a lonely place, and it is getting very late, so send them away, and they can go to the farms and villages round about to buy themselves something to eat. He replied, give them something to eat yourselves. They answered, are we to go and spend 200 denarii on bread for them to eat? How many loaves have you? He asked, go and see. And when they had found out, they said, five and two fish. Then he ordered them to get all the people together in groups on the green grass, and they sat down on the ground in squares of hundreds and fifties. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. Then he broke the loaves and handed them to his disciples to distribute among the people. He also shed out the two fish among them all. They all ate as much as they wanted. They collected 12 basketfuls of scraps of bread and pieces of fish. Those who had eaten the loaves numbered 500 men. The Gospel of the Lord. In many African villages, people regard as selfish any family which regularly eats indoors. Meals are taken outdoors so that any passing traveler can share whatever food is available. It also explains why someone can travel lightly without carrying heavy supplies of food and water. On their departure, a family member will accompany the stranger for part of the way so that they are not lost on unfamiliar paths. Because of uncertain or non-existent means of communication, advance warning of the arrival of a visiting relative or friend is unnecessary. Accommodation is guaranteed and very often any necessary transport costs for the onward journey. Today's gospel raises issues of hospitality. People have traveled to hear Jesus and it would be bad manners to dismiss the crowd on empty stomachs. There were no guarantee that everyone had food or the money to buy it from a nearby village. Jesus understood that, but his disciples conveniently overlooked tradition and good manners. They also couldn't afford to buy vast quantities of food. We know that the day ended with a huge crowd sharing a few loaves and fish, but without Jesus' courtesy and compassion, many might have otherwise gone hungry. There is no need for bad manners. Courtesy gives respect and dignity, regardless of someone's gender, age, religion, color, or socioeconomic status. Jesus fed thousands of people without distinguishing between the haves and the have-nots. Do I imitate this generosity and compassion for others? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may your courtesy and compassion inspire all our encounters with other people. Help us to give them respect and courtesy Teach us to be generous. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now, and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the, wine, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Amen. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending your, down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take care of the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ.
Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.